Hello and welcome back to a beginner's guide on Farming Simulator 22. Uh, today is the day to harvest our sugarcane. Um, I'm also going to build the sugarcane factory. And hopefully we'll have enough left over to buy the dairy as well. We may have to sell some sugarcane to get there. I'm not sure what the yield's going to be like on this. I am semi-worried because this doesn't say it's ready for harvest. It says it's ready to remove foliage. But the guide didn't say anything about that, so I'm hoping that the harvester, because it says under the harvester that it... Oh, can harvest the indicated crops. That's not what I'm looking for. Maybe it's under this one. No, no, no. Uh, it could have been in the guide. Let's look in the guide. Guide says... Do, 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 sugar cane. To harvest, you'll need a sugar cane harvester. It removes the top leaves and cuts the... Thi yeah, so it should do the remove foliage and cut it at the same time. Get it harvested for us. Uh, first things first, though, we have silage to sell. Ooh, don't run into my house. There we go. So I'm going to run this to the animal dealer, bring this trailer back here, and then we'll run to the shop so we can rent the harvester. And I will meet you over at the shop. Okay, we now have some money to play with. We have $137,000. I'm just hoping that I saved back enough... Um, hay and silage to feed the cows for the rest of the winter i think we did should be pretty close but let's check out this harvester so there's the two of them there's the self-powered harvester that's three hundred and forty nine thousand dollars. we are not going to play with that we do not have that kind of money yet maybe once we start selling cakes but what we're going to go with is the only other sugarcane harvester. This guy. There's wheels set up. We can make wide or standard tires. That probably doesn't matter. We can change color, but we don't really care about that. So let's lease it. It's $45,000. We could buy it, but I want to save as much of this as possible for building the sugarcane factory and hopefully getting the dairy as well because we need butter, and the only way to get butter is to buy that dairy and have it shipped over. Or we could ship it over ourselves. But we'll lease it. That's going to cost 2295 We only need it for today, and then it'll be like a year before we need it again. So not bad to lease until we have plenty of money and we can buy our own. But what I'm really hoping is that once we get this back to the farm... We should be able to hook up the trailer to the back of it. It's pretty little. I think it does one row at a time, so this is going to be a time-consuming job. It picks it right up on the wheels. Let's see. I'm going to pull it out a little from that box. Pull it out of the shadow so we can get a look at it. So we've got... Unfold is X... Yeah, and it's going to run to the side of us. Like that. And then it's got pipe out, which that's kind of surprising because it looks like the pipe's always out. Okay, so when the pipe is out on these, it's probably much like the pipes on the forage harvester, where it'll automatically track to the nearest container that will accept the stuff that's coming out of it. So that way, like when you turn corners and stuff, it tracks with the trailer instead of just dumping your stuff on the ground. That's nice. And then we can turn it on and off. So I'll go ahead and fold that back up. Let's get this to the shop. And then we got to pull out that sugarcane trailer and make sure we can hook it up to it. See you over there. All right. I'm going to need to pull that harvester out to get this trailer out from behind it, I believe. Yeah. Let me move this harvester.
might be worth it investing in a, uh, a header trailer so I don't have to leave the header attached to the harvester all the time. But we'll leave that right there for a second, get this trailer pulled out. Put the harvester away. Nope. Helps when you turn the right direction. And about there is good. Lower the header. Turn that off. All right. Now, since this thing's not double jointed, it shouldn't be too bad to back up to this trailer. We'll find out here in a second. It's only got one pivot point, so. Should be able to get it in there. Without too much struggle. There we go. And it's hooked up. Awesome. So we'll hit O. That'll pipe out. That'll automatically track the trailer. So like when we do a circle, it'll keep that. Oh, it's too tight of a circle. But it'll keep that uh, pipe over the trailer. Let's go ahead. We're going to start down the other end on the little field. I want to see what kind of yield we get off of this. I turned off traffic so we can take up the whole road. I'm going to hit X to unfold it. Get ourselves lined up here. This is quite a long set of implements. But that's all right. We'll drive probably right, right up tight to the side of it. B to turn it on, V. Do we need to drop it down? Oh, uh, I do not see a lower harvester. The mouse seems to control that, right? Actually, let's make sure we're on that. Yes, V to lower harvester. Oh, it's selected on the trailer. There we go. All right, so now it should harvest. So let's see what this is like. Yes, and we're getting sugar cane. Oh, it's filling up quickly, too. This might not be the best angle to come at these fields from. Yeah, the only poor thing about this is it looks like our trailer's taking out every other row of sugarcane. That stinks. I don't really know a way around. So the other thing we could do is if we... If we had a second tractor and we had the AI pulling the harvester we could pull the trailer alongside of it and then that would ensure that we get every bit or to plant it in rows with tram lines in between but we're not going to do either of those right now this is all just experiments I think I'm just mostly going to loop around the outside just make that tighter and tighter because that'll be the easiest way with this harvester to try to get it to function properly I really wish we weren't knocking down sugarcane as we went I'm wasting so much sugarcane
This trailer doesn't have an offset, does it? Let's see. Let's find out here. I'm going to turn this off for a second so I can hear myself think. Harvester, pipe in. Let's see. So that's up and down. Oh, and then it lifts so it can lift up and turn it. All right. I was hoping. No, I guess that's just a solid tongue on that. Hoping that could offset. Let's take a quick look. I know we have this one already, but let's take a quick look at that. Yeah, see, that looks like it overhangs on that side even worse. And I don't think normal trailers. Is there a normal trailer? That would A, do that, and B could be offset to the side. I don't think so. I don't even know if any of these... Oh, yeah, you can put sugarcane in a whole bunch of them. Yeah, they take sugarcane, but nothing is really offset, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can't change where the tongue is. Like the stone pickers and this harvester and stuff. Move over to the side, and some of the mowers are on the side, obviously. Well, I guess we're just going to have to deal with it for now. This would be one of those things where the... Uh, having... playing multiplayer would come in really handy. Actually, you know what? Let's try. I just want to see what it's like with the... if we get the um, AI to work on this. I don't know if they'll even do it here because the tractor will be off the field. But I'm going to tab over to our other tractor. Drop that. We'll go grab that trailer. This may end up being worse. This is probably a bad idea. This may end up being worse for running over stuff than us just pulling the trailer behind us. But we will find out. I just want to get this kind of in a position where the sugar cane can start going into it. Yeah, see how it tracks with the trailer. There we go. But if we're there, that'll give us a second to jump to this trailer once that one starts moving, this tractor. So, all I need to do now is hit H, and that'll hire an AI worker. I just have a feeling that they're going to run over a whole bunch of stuff, so I may just do one line with this guy and then stop it. But I want to see. Well, let's see what happens. So we'll get them going. We'll go get on this tractor. And he's not going anywhere. I think it's because he's not on a field. Let me jump back in there. I'll hit H again. That got rid of him. So if I turn it on and lower it, I'm going to pull forward just to where it starts. That way the harvester is actually on the field. Now maybe the guy will take over. Yeah, now he's going. All right, let's go catch up. We're coming. There we go. And so this will be fine. I'm just really concerned with when we get to the end of this field, what he's going to do. And I don't remember if the AI helpers destroy crops. I guess I could always turn crop destruction off. I think that's an option. We'll look at that. Let's see what happens here, though. Alright, now that he's at the end, we'll move out of his way. And... So he just stopped because I'm not next to him. And he's driving through the field. Luckily, it looks like he's not destroying the crops. 
but he's gonna try to okay yeah we're we're doing a thing hold on let me first let's turn crop destruction off because that that's gonna just be the easiest solution to this uh to do units radio camera input so no seasons crops and growth crop destruction off there we go now we can just do it ourselves we don't got to worry about it so i will back this up the ai in this game can be very helpful in certain instances but there's a lot of things that they can't do so like i know if we were doing this with a regular harvester if it was a wheat field say uh let's dismiss the ai worker if this was say a wheat field and we took our harvester we did the headlands which basically means we did a, a loop around the outside and then got it set up so that the worker could just go straight up and down the field um then it wouldn't be too bad to hire a worker and go next to them with a trailer that works out pretty okay as long as you have square fields but um ais are best for like oh cultivating that sort of stuff things that are simple don't really matter what pattern you take on the field as long as you get the whole thing so cultivating fertilizing seeding that's not bad to hire an ai worker for anything that actually takes a little bit of thought or common sense they're not good at because they don't have either of those obviously but all right so we're gonna go back let's see it now now it should be going i didn't put it down hold on i gotta select that again there we go down the harvester goes and now we harvest so yes now we're just compressing the plants on the edge with our trailer instead of destroying them and that kind of thing's up to you there is no quote unquote cheating in this game let me get rid of that sound for a second there's no cheating in this game the game is played the way you want it to that's why you have the options to turn things on and off uh, don't feel bad if you want to turn off crop destruction you want to turn off plowing field stone lime weeds all of that and just play the way you want to that's the beauty of this game is you get to play it the way you want to if you just want to make a lot of money and you want to take all the contracts and hire ai workers to do them while you sit there and design your perfect farm and they bring in money you can do that if you want to sit there and make the biggest field out of the entire map and plow the whole thing by yourself with the tiniest plow because you dig just driving tractors you can do that too don't let anybody tell you how you need to play the game you know whatever style of play you want you can do that for yourself so just a psa anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get this harvested once this trailer is full i will bring you back and we will see how much of the field that takes and make a decision if we're going to straight buy the sugar factory uh, we'll probably buy the sugar cane factory for the first load and then we may or may not sell the second load depending on uh how much that ends up actually being but i will see you when we get to that point
Okay, we now have a full trailer. I'm gonna pull that off. We can hook this back up to it when we come back with it. So our full trailer is 28,000 liters. I just want to see how much this sells for. So sugar cane is, we could get a uh, 400 liter, $400 per thousand liters at Goldcrest. But in order to do that, we'd have to rent the train. So we probably go to Johnson's Farmer's Market, 360. What's 360 times, what was it, 28,000? So, do, 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 pull out my calculator here for some quick maths. 360 times 28 equals, so that's $10,000 a load. It's a $10,000 load, and we have, oh, one, two, so probably four loads total, I would think. About three to four loads total off of the fields that we have. So that's not bad. Maybe we'll put half of them, because what's the bakery take? Does it say? It doesn't. I'm sure it doesn't say. Yeah, once we start putting sugar in there, we'll get an idea of how many liters it can hold. But like, we've got 7,000 liters of strawberries maxed out, but we have 34,000 liters of flour, and we're only just over half. So it's anybody's guess how much sugar it'll hold. Let us build a place for this. So that was shift P to get into this menu. And then we're gonna go production. We're under factories. Were you? Yes, the sugar mill, 80,000. So since we gotta go, we gotta deliver on that side. And our goods will come out this side. If we, we put it like here-ish. I'm going to hit C to line it up with a grid. That way you see it bounces in little jumps. If I unline it from the grid, you have that smooth. So you can do it at different angles. I'll open up the help screen so you can kind of see. So we'll line that up with the road. I want room to drive both in front and behind. So I think about here would be all right. We're going to do some landscaping as well. Oh, uh, yeah, something about like that. Bloop, there she be. So since we have to drive up there and back here, this is where we deliver. So let's go with painting. We'll pull out concrete because it's already got concrete. I'm going to hit M to make this bigger. Let's just run a line down along here. Basically straight out to the road for now. Will it not let me landscape right at the road? Land is not owned by you. Okay, so that's as far up as we can go. Apparently we can't connect it to the road. I hit V to turn it into a circle. And we'll kind of bring this around behind. I like the circle because you can do corners with it. Bring this around this side. Then we'll go V again to square so we can go kind of right along the side of it. We'll go up as far as we can. It's as far as it'll let us go. Make it a circle. Okay. So now let's actually bring this out a little bit more just to make it easier to make these corners. Bring that out a little more. Then since we're just driving, I'm going to grass this back again. Just straighten it up a little bit. There we go. Since we're just driving along this side, I'm going to go ahead and go decorations. And we're going to put in a fence. What do we have for fencing? 
These are going to be expensive. That's a gate. That's a gate. That's a fence. I think we're going to go with that one. Yeah. So, get as close to the road as I can go. We're going the wrong direction. So we'll get as close to down here as we can go. Try to bring it right up alongside what we've already done. Fencing is going to be expensive. And that's okay. Boom. So that was... So I clicked to start it. Just dragged it out to where it was. Clicked to where I wanted to end it. And then I right clicked to stop using it basically. But now we have a fence. So now the factory is separate from our farm. I'd like driveways, but apparently we can't do that. I am going to do a little more landscaping in the front. Uh, basically just curving these so that it's easier to make that turn. Not that it matters if you drive on the grass or anything, but there we go. Because then you can come in one side and go out the other. Or you can come in one side, go around the back, make your delivery, and come out the other. Actually, if we're going to have to pick up um, pallets from here, might as well just do the whole front. Because we're going to need to be driving in there and doing all sorts of stuff. Uh, I might extend this fence. Try go decorations, find my fence again. I think we gotta go from the other side. So if we if we get close to that, it'll snap to the fence that's already there. So we'll put it at the corner, click, and yeah, that's going the wrong direction. But I wanna go from near this fence, drag it along the back so that it's separated. Oop collides oh there we go collides with another item i might have been too close to the fence so let's back up from this fence just a little bit we'll put it oh i don't know here maybe there we go and that snapped to that end when i got close and then i was able to just click it We are spending a lot of money on this, but that's okay, because you know what? I like things to look nice. So if we go landscaping, plants, pick, oh, I don't know, this bush. There we go. We'll just put a couple bushes on the corner. That'll close that off. So then you have this walking path that comes along here. It's now separated from our factory area. And then these guys have their own fence. Not that any of this matters. It's just the way that I I like to play. Uh, I'd also want to go plants. Bring up our grass. And just fill the grass back in. In these spots. I know this is a waste of money. Because it's all for looks. But you know what? If you don't like the look of your farm, what are you even doing, right? I'll just fill in a little bit there. A little bit there. There we go. Boom. Now we have a nice looking factory. If I could adjust. There we go. There. Now it kind of fits in to everything, but it's obviously separate from our farm, which is what I wanted. So if we bring this over here, we bought the factory to install it. So it's ours. If we look under our productions, it'll now be here at the sugar mill at the bottom here. So, we don't have to worry about going to the little gear, or the little wrench icon and buying it or anything, because we already bought it. Oh, and our landscaping is very messed up in the back. Now that we're at ground level. Oh, yeah, because I didn't hit V, so it is now flat, flat. Wow, I didn't even know it was this goofed up. Alright, so let's fix this quick. Let me get out of the way. There's a couple good ways to fix this. In the back here, what we're going to do is landscaping. We're going to spend all our money on landscaping. I hit the flatten the level tool. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to start up here because this is what I want to flatten this back area to. Is this level. 
So if I start there and hold it, and then I come out, and it takes a second of holding it to get it to actually move, as you can see. And if you keep holding it, it'll keep flat, leveling it to that same level. If you let go and hit it again, it'll, it's going to level it to the new level that you select. So that's not too bad for back there and along the sides. Let's flatten this just a little more. There's going to be a heck of a bump coming into here on that side. We'll flatten this a little bit more. Trying to smooth this out. All right. So now that we're flattened, we'll use the soften tool. And this might mess us up in the front here. But if I go as big as I can, and then you just kind of hold this down, and it gets rid of the sharp edges, basically. So it'll smooth the ground so that your peaks and valleys kind of smooth out. It takes a lot of playing with to get it to be a way that you actually want it to be because sometimes it'll do things you don't necessarily want it to do I'm going to make it a little smaller for back here because I basically just want to smooth out this edge make it so it's not such a steep drop off it's got a little bit of a little slope to it instead of being just a straight drop off but that's a little better we got pretty flat up here Got a little bit of a, a slope in the back, but that should be all right. The front is mostly okay. Let's soften this a bit more. It stinks that we can't do anything about the land right up to the road, but that should be all right. So now let's get back in the tractor. Which side do you dump on? You're going to dump that way. Okay. So we'll go in this side. So we're facing the right way. I don't know if this will automatically do it or if I'm going to have to basically dump it on the ground and s make sure and hope that it goes into the thing. We'll find out. See if we get an icon. Okay, so there's no eye popping up for automatically unloading. So we're going to try to do this like this and see how that works. This action cannot be performed here. Why are you saying that? Oh. This is rough, buddy. We may actually have to swap this to a different trailer. This is our sugar mill. Our input is sugar cane. That's what we have in the trailer. Let's get a little closer to the icon and try again. All right, just pour a little bit out, make sure it's going in. It is. We have 143 liters now. Okay, so we just got to make sure we're right on that icon. We'll go ahead and dump this out. Yeah, so it seems like this trailer definitely is what you want if you're loading like into a truck because you can lift it up over the side of the truck and then dump it into the truck. But if you're just bringing it here, um, this would probably be good for dumping it on the ground too. But a normal trailer might be better. What do we have for trailers? Do you... Yes, you'll do sugarcane. And you will do sugarcane as well. So I wonder if those would be a little easier to dump on the ground here. We're going to try... I'm going to grab this one. And we're going to hook that one up and see what happens with that. I only got this sugarcane trailer to start with because it was on sale. So... I'm just going to park this off to the side somewhere. And I don't know where those trailers are. Potentially. 
over in the back there. Yeah, so let's drop this here. Oh, they're in the barn. That's where we keep them. Imagine that. Having things put away where they belong. Okay, so I'm going to unhook that back trailer so we only have one. see what this holds compared to our other one so this one holds 18 and a half cubic meters and this one was 28 yeah 28,000 liters so this one will fill up a little bit faster I just want to do an experiment with this one and see what it's like trying to dump this into the um, factory there Get this over here. Get everything hooked back up. Thing in. We'll see what happens. So I'll go ahead and get this harvested, and I will see you when we go to dump this trailer. Okay, let's see how this works. I'm gonna go tip side back. And we should be able to pull over that input and have it pop up and say, hit I to overload. We pull directly over it. Yes, there we go, okay. So I think that's right, the sugarcane trailer is good for putting it on the ground or putting it in another trailer but regular grain trailers that can hold sugar cane are better for bringing it to the factory or easier to hit the right spot when you're bringing it to the factory okay now we've got some stuff in our factory let's get it running so we have sugar beet sugar sugar beet cut sugar or sugar cane sugar sugar cane sugar is obviously what we're going for because all we have in here is sugar cane we have 46,499 liters and it's going to take two sugar canes to make one sugar so we'll end up with 23,000 liters of sugar out of this sugar right now it has storing we're going to change output mode not selling but distributing that way it sends it from here directly to our bakery and then we will go ahead and if I click down here we can activate and it's going to do this 12,000 times a month so 24,000 uh, sugar cane a month will be turned into 12,000 sugar for $120 just want to give this a minute let it run up because I want to double check that it's going into here but it probably has to get a few first I don't know if it hit is when it hits a hundred liters or what but I'll go ahead and keep harvesting I think I'll check after our next 
trailer once we fill this trailer back up check and see how much is in the bakery and how much total the bakery will take but since that is two months worth of processing we're probably going to sell at least the next one just because i want to see what we can get for a trailer of this i think it was 10 grand well that was the other trailer i want to try something this probably won't work but if we were to hook this up in front of that So yeah, pipe doesn't swing this way. Pipe out, it's still behind. I was wondering, because if, if the pipe would swing around and do it in front, we might, even though it doesn't have a PTO going through the trailer, we might have been able to kind of do a little sneaky and do it like this, instead of having to swap the trailer from behind the harvester every time. But that's okay. So we'll park this, grab this, hook it back up, and then I will get another load of this. Actually, do we have anywhere that we can sell this? I it did. We could bring it to Johnson's, right? Is that what we decided? Yeah, because the sugar mill it'll give us a price for it, but we own the sugar mill, so we won't get that price. If we put it in the sugar mill, it's ours to get processed. So, there is a mod that will hide that, which is one of my favorite mods. Um, because then when you pull this up, any any of these that you own, which for this would just end up being the sugar mill, but it won't put it up in the price list with everything else. So you don't accidentally forget that you own something. Like buy the bakery early on, never use it for a while. And then years later, come back, oh, I want to sell something. Oh, the bakery's got a good price. And you put it in, and you're like, ah, crud. I didn't get the money off that. Now I've got to process it. But anyway, I will go ahead, and I'll meet you over at Johnson's Farmer's Market with another full load of sugarcane. See you in a minute.
Okay, that would appear to mostly be it for the harvest. There's a couple little dots here and there. Um, but I don't think that's enough to even try to worry about because we can't actually see. They're so thin that you can't see where they are. This one we might be able to see because it's where that line is. But it's such a thin row that it doesn't even render as plants. I don't know if you noticed all the ghost. Yeah. Like all these ghost uh, sugarcane that we've been getting. There's that, and then there's probably right here, yeah. Which I don't know if that's probably not worth really worrying about. Maybe you get this couple of lines back here. Is this a line right here? The little dots and stuff I'm not going to worry about. Maybe if it's a full line, we'll try. Yeah, that's nothing. I'll try these two over here and then call that good. This is the kind of thing that the uh, guidance steering mod would be great for because you can set up a line and it would have you offset exactly so that you weren't missing these tiny little bits. Yeah, that's nothing there. What do we got? There's one little strip up there and then a couple dots everywhere. You see where that strip is? Let's try to get the strip. Why not? There'll be a couple liters. Oh look, we got a dot as we went. Oh, and another one. Let's figure out where this strip is up here. Somewhere like... Here? No, nope, not here. We are just off. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, we're turning. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Just give it a quick try. See if we can find where it is. Yeah, there it is. All right. Oh, there's even more over there. That's fine. Doesn't matter. We're going to call that good. That is um, not enough to really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and hit P. We'll go into the key for our least things. We don't need this anymore, so we will return it so we don't get charged tomorrow. And then go ahead and hook this and the other trailer together. Because I think this one, yeah, it looks like this one has a rear hitch on it. So we should be able to convoy these trailers. If I can line them up. Not quite close enough. Or maybe it won't hitch and we have to go the other way. Okay, so that won't hitch on there. Can we hitch this one to the back of that one? If not, we'll just make two trips. Let's at least try first. This would net us more money if we uh, turned it into sugar first and then sold it. But we need the money now, not in a couple months. So we're just going to sell it and see what we get. Okay, so we cannot hook these two trailers together. Uh, but what we could do potentially, let's go like this. 
we hook to this trailer to that trailer, we should be able to overtip from the other trailer into this trailer. So let's just get this over here. Leave that there. Nope. We will leave both of those there. There we go. Let's see how much of a mess we can make with this. So we should be able to pull this right up alongside that trailer. And then overload from here into there. Uh, yeah, something like that. We should be able to fill that trailer with this trailer. It cannot be performed here. What do you mean? Are we not close enough? Are we too close? What if we just try to tip it from the side? Oh, oh, kinda. I tried it. All right, let's see if we butt it right up against it. I don't know if I'm too close or too far. Or if it just doesn't work this way. Experiments. All right. Let's try just overloading. Hey, that actually works. Just had to be real tight up against it. If I pull this up, it should give us even better angle. I'm surprised it didn't work the first time. There we go. Get that in there. So now we've got those trailers full. We can bring them. So we'll just go ahead and dump this into the factory. See if this will go in the factory, which it should. This should be adding to the factory. Yeah, because it's not on the ground, so. Let's put that away. Let's check our factory. So, sugar. We have 53,486 liters of sugar cane turning into sugar our first sugar has not been distributed but we only have 283 i wonder if that has to get to 500 or a thousand or something before it will distribute um so we'll keep an eye on that and see when that sends the first load of sugar over it is distributing right yes so we'll see when that sends the first load of sugar over here. So now that I know that we don't necessarily need this trailer, I think we're just going to go ahead and sell it. I'm not even going to fix it and do all that. I think we're just going to sell it. Just because. Just because. That's why. So we can make an extra six grand. Actually, 6,244. Let's... I'm going to bring it over here and sell it. Let's see what the max we can get off this trailer is. I'll meet you over here at the shop. Okay, so we can sell it through this for 6241. We pull it in here. We can sell it at the shop for 6864. And if we go ahead and spend 326 to repair it, that's now seven two. 
spend almost 3,000 to repaint it. This should be, as long as it's over 10,000, 10,200 or something, it'll have been worth it. Yeah, and we're at 10,500. So it's not a whole lot, but what do we get? Maybe an extra thousand total after the money we spent to fix it. We'll get back. So let's go ahead and sell it. So that brings us up to 44,672. Now I'll go grab those trailers and I'll meet you at Johnson's Farmer's Market so we can sell that sugar cane. See you over there in a second. Okay, we have 37,000 liters of sugar cane and they are buying it for $359 per thousand liters. I'm gonna change this to right. Go ahead and pull up on here. Let's see what we get. Uh, are we not able? Well, we must not be able to put it in the grain door. What if I change it to left? Yeah, okay. So it wants us to overload it on the ground there. So let's sell it. We got 6,657 from the first trailer. I think these are equal size trailers. I don't recall. I think they hold the same amount. And 6,657 for the second trailer. Yeah. Cool. Good deal. So I've got to bring these back to the farm. So I'll bring these over there. And then I will meet you at the dairy. Because I think that gives us enough to buy the dairy. So I will see you over there. Okay, here we are at the dairy. There's the little icon for us. What do we have? 70,000, we have 57,987. So, let's borrow a little more money if it'll let us. Do, 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 do money tab. We already owe 50,000, so let's borrow another 15 which gets us up to just enough to buy the dairy. And you have to spend money to make money. You have to borrow money to spend money to make money sometimes. But that is what it is. That's not what we want. We want you. So now that we own the dairy, we're going to turn off the cheese, turn off the chocolate. We're not making those. Cheese is just milk into cheeses. Chocolate is milk and sugar into chocolate. But what we want is butter. And none of our milk is in there. <gasps> it made a liar out of me. So we'll deactivate it. I've never had that happen before. Oh, you know, I've been putting milk in there so infrequently that it's probably processed through the milk that we've put in there. Um, because they will process slowly over time. So if you, if you have a sell point like this that you're selling your stuff to and it ends up being full, if you wait a month or two, It'll have space for you to put more into it. We didn't sell enough milk to this to have it. So let's go get some milk from our farm. So if we just bloop over to here, we're going to enter vehicle. I've got to get rid of the water that's in here. And then we can get milk, bring it to the factory. And... Uh, start making butter and then we're going to need another set of milk to bring to the 
the farm or not the farm to the bakery okay so that's not enough water how can we get rid of this water I don't think we can we don't have anything to do with our water so we may have to wait a month so I don't think it'll let us get milk when there's water in here even if it's only 11% yeah, that's not going to let us do that. All right, so we have, what do we have right now? We have 3,000 liters of milk right now. Um, I guess we'll have to wait until next month to get rid of the water, get the milk. We'll put some of the milk in the dairy let that start making butter and sending it over and then we'll probably have to wait one more month to get another load of milk to bring it to the bakery so i will go ahead and do that yeah let's do that right now hello cows so everything else what do we got at the bakery i think we're pretty good on everything else now right let's see how's our sugar doing we've made 398 it has not sent any over yet so hopefully by next month it will have and then yes milk and butter will be the only other thing we need we could probably top off the eggs so when i bring the milk over we'll probably bring whatever eggs we have over as well our animals they're full of water I think they're good for the month on TMR. We can make more of that next month. Our chickens are pretty good. So everything's going good there. Our strawberries are now full of water. And we're just selling those because we're full of them. And we don't have any flour being made, which is fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're good. We have sugar, which is being processed, and then milk and butter. So we will be getting this done in no time. Uh, I will see you in a minute. We'll go ahead and, like I said, we'll bring the milk to the dairy, put it in there, and start processing that. Uh, I'll probably take care of the animals before I do that. So I'll see you when we get to the dairy. See you in just a minute. Okay, so we ended up with 4,500 liters of milk. We'll go ahead and put that in our dairy. Overload that into the dairy, and then we can start making butter. All right, so that's in. We go to butter. Oh, interesting, because I left our um, sugar mill on distributing. It is now distributing both to our dairy and our um, bakery. So our bakery has 1,858 liters of sugar, and our dairy has... 9,560 liters of sugar. Wow, that's a bit of a difference. I wonder why. Is it by percentage? Yeah, because that percentage is exactly the same. So the dairy must hold more sugar. And it looks like it's filling them up with equal percentages as opposed to equal amounts. Because as we switch back and forth, you can see that sugar bar is exactly the same between the two. So it's like one-fifth of how much sugar each will hold. Interesting. Well, how much do we have for sugar? We still have 31,000 liters of sugar cane. I'm going to change this to storing. Because I'm not really going to use sugar. We'll make chocolate at some point now since I have sugar in here. But I'm not really going to use sugar in the dairy. So I don't want it to automatically distribute here. So with it set to storing, it will spawn pallets. And then we can take them over to the bakery ourselves. But that way I'm not wasting sugar. The alternative 
if I wasn't going to use sugar here is let it fill up sugar on this one and then just never mess with it because once this is full it'll stop distributing to it but we're here for butter we have 4,500 liters of milk looks like the dairy will hold a lot of milk which is probably makes sense we can go ahead and activate butter butter and we are going to distribute butter because the bakery is the only thing that'll take butter our grain mill won't our greenhouse won't and our sugar mill will not take butter so the butter will be going directly to the bakery the only thing we're missing or will be missing is milk how much butter do you make 15 make 13 out of 15 480 times so we should have enough milk in there to make um all of that potentially no no we will not but anyway it'll make some butter and send it to the thing and then cake only takes two butter so as long as we get a little bit of butter we'll be able to make some cake so i will go ahead it's raining today i did notice that we need uh we have weeds we need lime and i need to fertilize our sugarcane field so i'm going to go ahead and take care of those and then go to sleep again and wake up and i'll see you in the morning where we take the butter and some of our sugarcane and the last of our eggs to the bakery get our inputs filled and finally make a cake so i will see you in just a minute for you just a little while for me see you soon okay it is a new day i went ahead and did this field work it says it needs plowing but i'm not sure if it'll grow back and just a less yield it still says harvested but i wonder if it doesn't actually start growing until the spring uh we'll see i guess if let's see when is it do, 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 do. sugar cane do, do, do. march so march is planting season so i guess if by march it still says harvested and not growing i would think that that would be when it would uh start growing for the year and then we can harvest it in october because we harvested october so it should start growing again in march i'll keep an eye on that let's see how our industry is doing do 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 okay so we've run out of milk so we can deactivate that strawberries are still selling that's good sugar we're getting lower seven thousand we're storing almost six thousand liters of sugar so we can bring that over to our bakery but we have almost two thousand liters in there so we can certainly get started we have three thousand nine hundred liters of butter so all we're missing is the milk and then we can make some cake oh i'm so excited we're getting there we don't have a lot of milk because it's only been one month worth of milk for the cows we have one thousand five hundred liters of milk so i'm going to go ahead and fill this up 1500 liters if we were doing this in earnest i might make a bigger dairy uh might actually make a larger cow pasture or a second one so that the milk was a little more more so we had more milk <laughs> oh actually let me i'm gonna grab the last of the eggs and then you know i think i may have i'm gonna say messed up but messed up's not really the thing um i got rid of the one bale trailer for the auto loading one because this one's much easier but now i don't have a flatbed to move um pallets around on but i think think that the trailers that I have we have what this one and that one I think do, 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 do. maybe not maybe these ones don't 
Okay, apparently these ones don't. What is it? This one? Yeah, this one has a flatbed. What would that cost us? 11500 Or we could go with... If you go under low loaders, these are basically all flatbeds. That's 15000 for the cheapest one. Or if we go miscellaneous, we could always use that one. And this one, I've never actually used because... It doesn't seem like it would hold very many pallets and it seems like it'd be a pain because you'd have to like load them in from the rear. I don't know. We're, we're going to need a way to move pallets around here at some point. But we can think on that because the other alternative is to get a bale trailer again. Which if we go bale loaders... 19,500, but that is a really big trailer, you know, so we could definitely put a lot of pallets on there at once if we needed to. I don't know. Fortunately, our sugar mill is not very far from our dairy, so we can just move them by hand for now. And eventually you'd want to get some way to consistently get them over there. Either that or after the next sugar harvest, set it back to distributing, let the bakery fill up with sugar, and then just have it all, or let the dairy fill up with sugar, and then just have it all distribute to the bakery from that point forward. But let me grab these eggs, and I'll get the milk, and we'll get over to the bakery, and I'll see you over there. Okay, so the eggs should automatically bloop in there. Yep, they're going. Is that it? Is that all you'll take? That's it. So eggs are now full. Let's go ahead and pull forward. I can unload the milk. And if I can back this up straight enough, I can just leave these eggs here so that it'll take them in after there we go pull this around so we can leave our milk over or our milk trailer over here on the side for now because we want our forks and what do we need forks for for eating our cake so we should know that's the wrong button have all yes we have all of the inputs huzzah finally all of the inputs to make a cake so let us nope click you click activate it does it 192 cycles a month to give us five cakes per cycle so we should end up with i don't know 800 Eight nine hundred cakes. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll just fast forward to next month by going home. We'll visit home. I'm gonna sleep, and then while we sleep, our factory should be doing their thing. Our strawberries should be selling themselves, so that should balance some of our monthly budget concerns uh, 216 for loan 404 for property maintenance 169 for production cost but what do we make on let's see in December we made 2164 unsold products so that's doing a good bit yeah so out of all of last month, because we didn't really do anything last month, property maintenance, production cost, and loan interest are overbalanced, and we still made $1,300 in profit just from those strawberries. So that's awesome. So we're making positive every month, even when we're not doing anything actively or actively having a harvest and selling it. So that's nice. 
that greenhouse is coming in great for that because it doesn't cost us money to just have the farm running per month on a month by month basis let's see what we ended up with we have 154 cakes plus probably a full pallet let us bloop over to our tractor enter vehicle oh we have two two full pallets of cakes look at our pretty little cakes they are 400 liters of cake per pallet nice who wants to buy our cakes let's see cakes get sold probably at the restaurant uh oh my god they're so expensive the grocery store will pay us eleven thousand and thirty two dollars per thousand liters so let's go ahead and narrow our forks a little bit because we're going to grab these on end and get myself in here so i can see what i'm doing Grab this. No, come on, go in there. Quick. Bakery is loud. It's an industrial bakery, not a not a home bakery. There we go. So we finally have our cakes. I'll drive these over to the grocery store and I'll meet you over there. Okay, so we're at the grocery store with our 800 liters of cake. We should be able to just plop it right here. Ooh, get back in there. There we go. That was $8,825 for our cakes. Outstanding. Outstanding indeed. We have done the thing. So now I'm going to set that to selling. So I don't have to drive back and forth to the grocery store every time. You could certainly do that. I prefer the distributing and selling by themselves. Uh, the distributing, I think, is one for one. But the selling definitely takes a percentage. So you don't sell for the full price. You sell for the full price minus like a delivery fee. Which is fine um, when I'm doing something like this. Because my goal now would be to keep these inputs flowing so keep delivering milk probably every other month um bring milk to the bakery or the dairy like i said i would probably if i was doing this in earnest trying to make money off the cake i would probably double the size of our our um our herd that way i could have one producing going to the bakery one producing going to the um dairy and i might even try to buy probably ooh, that's expensive expensive that one's not as expensive so i might try to buy land closer to the dairy buy this for one set of cows and that way, just less that I have to drive between each place. Because you can't automatically distribute milk or eggs or uh, wool. You have to manually move those around. Uh, I'd also expand this. And with a goal of getting, if we were going to continue doing this, either getting the self-driving harvester which has a two meter width. I think that's double what the other harvester is. Yeah, this is one meter width, so it would take half the time. It does cost $350,000 though. Um, I don't know. Uh, no, I'm gonna say you can't tow a trailer behind that. So that is going to need a trailer off to the side. Oh, actually, attachers. Standard. 
Oh, you can put a trailer hitch on it. Nice. So I lied. For $800 more, you can throw a trailer hitch on it and use that. The other thing I might look into is if we did sugar beets instead, um, which this is all super expensive self-driving equipment, but you can get regular equipment. And this might be a little bit friendlier. Are these all toppers? What are you? What do you connect to? Does that connect to a regular harvester? I don't think so. Combinations. Oh, it's the one for the beet harvester. I was going to say, I didn't think you could use it on a regular type harvester. But you have a 2.7 and a 4 meter header for um, the harvester or there's a three meter pull behind harvester with you'd also need this topper so what this does is this cuts the green off the top the the leafy bit that actually comes out of the ground and then this harvester just like the potatoes it would dig them up out of the ground um None of this is super easy to do by yourself because a lot of these, just like the sugar cane, uh, the potatoes and the beets, all three have really narrow implements and all three are best done with somebody on a harvester and somebody in, with a trailer next to it. Um, but you can. We just proved you can do it yourself. But I may... I might would switch over to beets, try that, see if it went a little smoother, and kind of compare yields. I don't know what the yield would be on beets versus um, sugarcane in the same bit. So it would be nice to do a field in sugarcane one year, beets the next year with just renting all the equipment, uh, compare what you get for yield, you could also um, forage harvest them with something. I know there's something that'll get beets. How do you get that chopped beet stuff? There's a header for that or something. What do you use for that? Oh, uh, let's see. It should tell us in here. Because that, that beet cut, there's... I don't know if you have to harvest and then do that. Let's look for beets. Root crops. Ba -do -do -ba -do -boo -boo. Use a tractor or several specialized tools. Once planted, you have to cut the foliage. Afterward, the crop can be picked up with a trailed harvester. Yep. Sugar beet cutter is used to chop sugar beets. You can find the tool in the resulting sugar beets can be brought to biogas plant or delivered to the sugar mill. Well, I don't know what the difference there is because our sugar mill will take beets or beet cut i wonder if if you cut the beets do you end up with a higher yield we can deactivate that because that's done now that would be interesting interesting to know it's a whole bunch of extra stuff but as far as cakes go we have made cake so that is that for this advanced production uh, like everything in the game, you can get as deep into it as you want, or as um, just surface level as you want. We could have continued just growing wheat, turning it into flour, turning that flour into bread and selling that for a profit. Um, again, it's all up to you and what you want out of your farm the biggest thing about a lot of these is you want to make sure you're doing stuff that you enjoy um especially like the potatoes if you do a really big field of potatoes and then you go to harvest it it takes several real hours 
to harvest a large field of potatoes in game and a lot of people don't want to put several real hours towards that so potatoes might not be something you want to do if you don't have a lot of time to dedicate to the game you know and again it's about what do you want do you want to play with animals do you want to just drive the tractors in the fields do you want to get productions going together so that you can make as much money as you want are you just about designing farms like whatever you want to do you can do in game and you can start doing something change your mind completely get rid of it it's not that big a deal you can sleep through as many winter months as you want until you have something fun to do again the game's about having fun and you can have fun whatever way you want but now that we've done cakes this part of the series is done um the next part that we're going to go on to is forestry basic no mods no dlc forestry and then probably add a dlc forestry into it the platinum expansion just to show the differences the only good forestry area on this map and as far as i know on the three base game maps is this area up here but it cost 1.169 million dollars so i'll probably start a new save in um, farm manager because then we'll start without any land or equipment with a million dollars in our pocket and then i can just do a couple of contracts to make up the difference before we can buy this and start utilizing um forestry and i can show you how that's done but that'll be it for today thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something have a wonderful day bye